Okay, it seems like that, that sounds very yeah like like something that I would like to see. Well, what I was going to mention, it seems we, we missed the veto. I didn't see it come up on the screen, but we have ended up on... This is Miramar? Yes, correct. Yes. correct. The uh, Sandy Dunes. And Sandy this, Dunes! Uh, this, is where the, uh, this is where that high ground thing comes into oh, play once look! again. It's happening. It could very much. Do I mean, so. at least, yeah, at yeah, least, yeah, yeah, at least yeah. closer proximity Saint and a Martin, bit more randomized, right? San Martin could very much become the uh, the hot spot early on here because there are players the, and teams, are players from both teams going down there. Yeah, there, there, there are. There is a big centralization here um, in, in the central northern part of the map where we can see Turkey and Finland with maybe five to six players each mm -hmm. in close mm -hmm. areas. So as soon as these start, guys start looting, are they going to kick off or will they run the opposite way and try and withhold? what they've got. That's the thing, right? I think it's going to depend on where the circle goes. Because Okay, oh, wow, so there's one more player. Me. No, I think it's actually 5v5. Five five, but it depends on where the circle goes. Because if it goes away from this area, there's nothing to play for there. Is it really going to be worth it to have these guys stuck and forced to fight in here? But as you can see, fights happening right off the bat. Timo takes down Doc. Only the knock so far. But uh, who knows? Maybe the finish up will come in as well. Yeah, where is that? Ex so Timo's, Timo's on the roof. Timo's on the roof. In, on the roof. Yeah. Okay, no, but Dog does have two teammates. Yeah. Yeah. Roughly in the same location as him. But nonetheless, that's a much better start for the finish, kind of impressing their will mm -hmm. and showing, look, we're going to be a bit more aggressive this time. This is our town. Mm. That's the uh, the cowboy way of doing things. Don't talk, just shoot. That's uh, <laughs> that's how you tell them to leave, right? Finish yeah. cowboys. <laughs> I like that. You've never heard about those? They were, uh, they're, they're a rare sight, but uh, I'm sure they exist some, some yeah, yeah. I, well, I, I, I hope that they do exist. <laughs> now we see Anol there trying to take an engagement with uh, Jerpsy and Spicy Doggo 69, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, who were on top of the roof and potentially there because of that advantageous angle. They take him out and he is down. So that is contrary to the first map. We have Finland taking the early lead. Yeah, they have. They have. I mean, now it's going to be interesting to see what the Turkish players do because sure, they only lost one player. They got the rest back up on towards Nog, but they have a chance now. You can see Control, he's, he has a chance to disengage. He doesn't seem like he wants to, but he has a chance to run out and sort of regroup, but seems like he's a bit too stubborn. He's looking now for the badass from Finland. Who does? Trying, trying to spot where he's gone, but he's he's given up on that angle and he's going to loot a bit more. He doesn't want to take that engagement, yep. as you said, Toby, and things are going to slow down a bit. Perhaps now Turkey thinking that Oh no! He he's just real reorganized himself. Found um, a different angle, looking into the same position. Badass now in the open clearly has no idea, and he's getting a bit of damage there, not too much. Oh, and then his teammate, there, spicy doggo sixty nine, tries to um, fend off. How, how do you say Saturkin? Turkin? Yeah, I, I don't know. We yeah, couldn't e figure it out last time either. So you just say something and then we'd stick to that. Yeah, either way, <laughs> um, they're Turkin taking a lot of aggro from three or four Finnish players. And Jerpsy is actually taking it upon himself to yeah. push through and hopefully catch him off guard. An issue right here is that he's all by himself. He has Rita. I mean, she's sitting up on the hills above that can sort of apply some sort of pressure. But once they're in the house, there's nowhere she can really sort of assist from. Yeah, and yeah, this has turned into a full-out engagement. Utility being thrown out, multiple grenades, three players, and a hole in the ground. And however, um, Toby just pointed it out to me on the minimap, the Turkish infantry coming to back him up from the north. Yeah, but you see a push coming in from the other side as well. One nut comes in with the nade, so a bit of uh, a bit of pressure taken off right there. But uh, can he hold them off continuously? And right now, I mean, honestly, if all these players from Turkey make their way down, that's going to be Jerpsy and his teammate completely outnumbered. And T uh, we have now one Finnish player completely down. Um, so it's 31 to 31, very even. The pace in, in, in this matchup is even faster mm -hmm. than the last. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's great. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, you have such a big map and you think, oh, there's so much room to land on. Let's just go. Oh, I guess we went exactly where everyone else did. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give them too much room because they'll just start going the same places. But... Um, you see the player right here trying to hold this. There's a smart little sneaky angle to hold, and he knows his teammates are making their way in, and he just needed them to start sort of putting the pressure from below. Then he can come running down from the top. And that's the flanking unit that we saw coming in that Finland weren't aware of. Smart play. But I mean, it honestly. seems like some equal trades here. Badass clutching his stomach in the hopes that he gets revived. However, Lipsin taking him out.
And it's really well done. And that's what we talked about. How with Turkey, I mean, if one guy gets knocked, five go for the rest because they know if there's one guy to get the knock on you, there could be more around. So they never take any chances in that regard. Always go for the safe play. And they had one guy knocked early. He said, guys, guys, there are many over here. I need help. And well, they came with it. Spicy Doggo 69 chained oh. up outside his owner's yeah. house. Please, sir, let me in. He's undressing. Um, Maybe that's a sign of like sort of a, 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 a peace <laughs> treaty kind of thing. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Smash Bay flies in like an Avenger. Thor landing in the middle of the yeah. pack, smashing his hammer down, taking him out. We do see the circle, though. Yes. So, pretty centered up, so not a whole lot to talk about in that regard. But what we can talk about is how Finland has actually taken pretty much full control of that center. You have Koski and you have Ossie in uh, respect of the power grid and just on the eastern side. Now this, ooh, this red zone is annoying because that's going to will prevent them at least from splitting out as much as they probably would have wanted to. Unless they don't respect it, of course. I mean, yeah. I've heard player Noni calls people dying to red zone noobs. Only noobs die to red zone, I think it's the quote. So uh, maybe they'll just say, no, it's, it's, it's not going to hit me, mm. right? Um, well, you, you, you're in, when you're in those situations, you have your fingers crossed. What do you do? When you see a red zone in your playbook, do you just say, I'm just, just going to run through it? Or do you just go like, nope, I'm going to wait until it's over? Any Battle Royale game I've played where there's like that sort of zone, I just get away. You don't like them? No, I don't, I don't like take the risk of, of nope, potentially being nuked out of the sky. Same. We've got this, we've got our drone captain flying in here, mm. giving us a nice overview of um, the teams there looking at each other across the plains. Koski there chucking a smoke down to ensure he can get away from the advancing Finnish players. He wants to regroup with his yeah. his teammates on the other side of the valley. Does he? Is he aware? I'm I'm, presu I'm assuming that uh, he, the people that he's trying to regroup with do know of the Finnish <laughs> players that were on his right side that were overlooking them, and he's probably picked up some very vital information. Um, from dropping that smoking, seeing the people advance. So, yeah, I would imagine that there's some good information there that's been gained by Team Turkey. I mean, he's a scout that ran out, but is he going to be the scout that makes it all the way back? I'm not sure. Seems like Jupsik had a pretty good angle on him just before. I'm not sure if they've spotted him yet, but at least he was looking in the right direction. So there's a chance that's going to come in. And look at them. I mean, you have Nickwell and you have February. Once again, they were also the ones that pushed over the bridge really late in the previous game, but now they're once again on the uh, opposite side. Of uh, things, maybe they can be the ones to get a lot of info as well. Yeah, they there they seems to be a, a tactic being employed there mm, in terms of mm -hmm. how Turkey deploy a couple of men on. I don't know if it's part like informational missions or just looting. Recon. In general. Yeah, recon. Yeah. We can use a general term like we're 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 innovating here in terms of. What, it's of amazing. What I love it. I love it. <laughs> There's some, some recon there. Um, you were talking in terms of scouts there. Can we potentially use the phrase "Don't shoot the messenger"? Maybe there's oh, going to yeah, be yeah, yeah, there's yeah. going to be some peace between the two squads. If you see a guy out there, nothing in his hands, we're like, no. Oh, he's just the messenger. Yeah. Exactly. We can't shoot yeah. him. He's he's delivering a message. I th yeah. I think then he pulls his pan out and whacks you. Oh over yeah, the head. that you can do. <laughs> you have to be has to be a fair fight, right? It's like in Counter Strike back in the day. If you like, if you took your knife to the wall, clink clink clink, then it was a sign that you had to had a knife fight, right? So if you swing the oh. pan, if you swing the pan hard enough, then maybe they'll take out their pen and that make a fair fight as was well. Was that 1.6? That was like old days, yeah. When you like, uh, if, if you were 1v1 and the end of 1v2, even more. So if you were outnumbered in the end of a game and you started, like you could hear in the distance, clink, clink, clink with the knife, that I was because see. he wanted to have a knife battle. Okay, I mean, I started in Source in, when Half-Life 2 came out, which I'm often apologetic for, but I loved Source, <laughs> right? That's the truth. <laughs> CSGO, though, undoubtedly. A better game than Source. <laughs> um, either way, back into the action on screen. Yeah, it seems as though the power grid has become a central location. Um, the blue team is Turkey. Correct. Yes. <laughs> no, it is. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, but we've got Gypsig there putting down some fire, trapping Cal Kalimdor. Kalimdor taking it down, but not out just yet. You can see players immediately. You look at how many players are coming over to rest him. I mean, it's so crucial for them to keep their players up. Oh, thought is that's a red zone explosion. Feels bad, man. But, uh, well, you work hard on the Oh, other. wow, yeah. There we go. I see it in the top right. And even on the same team as well, they both play for Fenerbahce. That's why they have the FB logo. So, uh, <laughs> oh, so, so they're helping out each other now. Then Nate came in, and that's just unfortunate. One of the powerhouses of Turkish football. Mm -hmm. We'll leave it at that. 
Yeah. They're not, no, they just haven't really been doing that well. In, no, they're in actual so. players on the Fenerbahce football team. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These, yeah, of course they are. <laughs> they're That's there. the thing. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> they are the powerhouse of the, uh, of the Fenerbahce football team, easily. No, uh, we we have seen we see them make their way in, and sure there has been some red zones going a little more onto the Finnish side of things than the Turkish, but uh, but seems I mean with the circle and everything, it's pretty centered up. So so at least for now, sure you have some hard cover, but it could also be what contains you in the end. Mm, talking about contain. Uh Koski around the containers here under a lot of pressure from the rock formation that we just saw to the right-hand side of the screen. He's healing up, though, so he should be okay. But his position is definitely one that's known. And we can see that the Finnish side are sort of creating a big arc mm. around the power grid. Not yeah. a complete circle, because I do think the Turkish team have... Um, at least one back, so one, one angle of it, one side of it that's protected. Thodis is not having a, a good day today. First, he gets himself killed by an explosion, and then he runs over a teammate. That's not how you want to do things. No. Here, Logs goes down as well. Code Marco becomes Code Kill, and he secures the kill, but he needs to go back and get up those mids. But that's one actually, a guy that was pushed out or maybe a bit too far by himself, caught off, and then that could be some room taken by the Turkish. It would be great if we had listenings where they. We're speaking English because... <laughs> Where they were speaking English. <laughs> yeah, because that way we could really piece together how these guys are approaching things. Because whilst Andy did, Andy did tell me, oh yeah, we're just going to take the fight to them, mm. you can clearly see that things are being formed and, and the yeah. way these guys are moving yeah. around is, is, is in a structured way. That could be a thing for season two. We need like translators to be on site live translation from the communication. Or a live guy on the battlefield who runs around the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> He's just pan, just like running around. Hello, how are you doing over here? Oh, you're getting shot at. Never mind, let me just go away. Yeah, that could be a, that could be a thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe someday. I don't know. Hmm. Who knows, man? Who knows? Who With knows? virtual reality knocking on the door, <laughs> anything's possible. I'm standing in a red zone. Guys, can you please cut? <laughs> oh, uh, John, are you okay? <laughs> I just want to hear your take on how the game is going. I don't have a foot to remain. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. New cycle pups, and once again, pretty much everyone is in. I mean, Nick will in February, they're still again. miles out. They're getting a lot of info, but they're also really far away. So that's... One of those things, again, where you can send a flank out, but if they end up not having any impact on the game itself, then was it really worth it in the mm. end? I'm not sure it was. An apocalypse there collecting from the supply Ooh, crate. Yeah, the level 3 gear, most importantly, but also, of course, some uh, upgraded weaponry. Sand tuning. I, 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 I don't... I mean, it's so hard to tell, but do you think that Team Turkey have any idea that... There are the two Finnish players. No clue. To, to the, if to they the know, there is something off. I mean, yeah. they're one kilometer out still, and they cannot see them. So, I mean, I don't. they cannot provide any info, and they're, I mean, yeah. I mean, they can tell them where their opponents aren't. So that's, of course, also info. Mm. But and it's uh, going to be, and unlike in regular competitive PUBG or a game like CS or whatever, mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. numbers are a lot smaller and you can account for how yeah. many people there are in a certain location. One, two, three, four, I think four, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. four of them yeah. are here, but there's still another 30 left. So. Exactly, mm. so it's going to be so hard for them to sort of count the numbers. Yeah. You, you can't really provide a hole. It needs to get closer. But of course, at the same time, if you start running, we talk about, you can see it right here as well. If you get caught up in the open here, I mean, it's not open, it's open, right? I mean, and if you have 30 people, or just five people shooting at you, there's a pretty big chance you're going to go down before you get to that one rock mm. you have to hide behind, right? I can see how much um, the spectator experience and observing has has changed since the last PUBG event I've done. These overview cameras... That's a while, yeah. Yeah, these, 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 pub, these overview camera angles and then zoning on, on specific things in the minimap all seem... Um, a lot, a lot clearer. Like I, I mm. we can really, especially in thirty-two thir verse thirty-two, where it could arguably be more difficult to see what's going going on. I feel like it's quite like we were talking about before. It, it's quite easy for me, um, who has less experience with this game, to mm. see the structure of these yeah. two teams yeah, and how the these picture, engagements are going. For sure, you get you get the uh, the bigger picture much easier now that you get the uh, the proper proper tools to do the uh, the observing as well. But we could we could see some of the uh, some of the Turkish players make their way on around, and you can actually see them pushing in from the north as well. So what was the pincering last time Ten around? Kills. Is now the pincering going the other way? That's for the team though, Big I think nade. overall. But we see all the damage coming in now on Stampula trying to hold them off. It does go down though. Turkey and now getting that same lead that they benefited from in our first match. 
they suddenly put the pressure on that structure that we've seen developing over the course of this second map. Yeah. Closed in and... Um, Oh, no, they were the ones that, were, that had been closing, but they managed to sort of reverse the situation they were in and find those engagements, and that now they've put um, Finland at a rather uh, significant disadvantage. Again, one of the sites that the Finnish people, they didn't have that many people on, but it was more of a scout position down south. They tried to look out, they tried to hold them off, but once the Turkish players realized, well, there's just a bunch, a couple down here, let's just outgun them and, like, full sprint forward. You can see how they're all together down there, right? And if we look to the north, MF... S 1905. From where he's looking, I think it's safe to say that he has an idea of that lone yeah. Finnish player um, that's northeast in Berlin. Um, I think what they're doing, because they have a high ground position over there too, right? They're just trying to prevent a potential flank. Like, mm -hmm. they, they don't want to allow that to come through. So it's good info coming in. And uh, Fibri and Nicole have finally made their way into the circle. And, uh, well, I mean, they all need to get some guts here info because their team is down by 10 players. That would be a huge long game play to make. If those two <laughs> um, Finnish lone wolves yeah. come in and rally the pack, that would be our Rome total war moment. For sure, for sure. That, <laughs> that would be, would be the rally. Yep, that would be very impressive, but uh, also somewhat unlikely. But then again, I mean, we've seen crazier things happen before. So uh, I'm not gonna call it anything, but as you can see here, they have the high ground. They sit up there. They can take shots down towards uh, the Finnish players, and they can just help sort of pin them down to one corner of the circle. Mithrain there, the general for Team Turkey, leading his troops in the thick of it. That's what you want to see. You yeah. want to know that your general's down to ride or die. Um, and we can also see now that. The Turkish team are advancing a bit out of the power station. They feel maybe that the momentum is swinging in their favor and that they have the tools at their, disposable, mm. uh, at their disposal yeah. to kind of have put out the, the Finnish team that you said are on a slightly higher ground off to that west, uh, eastern, yeah. southeastern part. And you can see how confident he looks down there in the corner as well. I mean, yeah. Very, very smiling. Very, yeah. He's, he he's, hasn't even uh, moved since he got nope, to the studio. He is, he's, um, he is a very, very, very sturdy man and there's no way you can uh, rattle him whatsoever. Now the team is pushing <laughs> on forward. They are, of course, up in numbers and I think this is the time where we start seeing them all not really care so much for position anymore but just say... We have them now. Let's just make that death push to sort of... Uh, like, you know, how in the, what is it, Mortal Kombat, when you have, like, the fatality? fatality you just got to run fatality. them down. Oh, yeah, exactly. The just pan gotta... would be a brutality. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. yeah that's probably the, the best the best example you can come up with that. Mm, in an image we saw just a couple moments ago, I think Sunker was on a bit of a rescue mission there. Two of his mm -hmm, teammates mm -hmm. were down. He was trying to find the angle, Ooh. the right angle. Method Andy again, showing that he is a general to be reckoned with. yeah. yeah. Um, knocking down Code Marco, not afraid to, to engage. Turkin, also... Is that his name now? Turkin? I'm going to go with Turkin, yeah. <laughs> See, Turkin. Could Turkin? <laughs> yeah. 15 kills for... Oh, that's for the team in total. Oh, for the team in ah, total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't get, don't get the, yeah, confused with that. Yeah, he like, he doesn't wow, have 15 someone's, kills. Someone's, yes, someone is like the... <laughs> He's like the the the, fuck, <laughs> the executioner. Uh, yeah, he is. Uh, he is the, the finisher of, um, of of Finnish players, but not quite the case. Good damage, damage though damage coming like, out from like Turbo. Yeah, Turbo Banana, Banani, Banani. Holy cow, that's some good uh, knocks coming in. But the third one is not done yet, which means, of course, that those rests yeah. could come in. But unfortunately for him, whilst that's been going on, his team has been taking yeah. quite a few knocks. Andy and uh, Jonathan, they're kind of caught off on the other side of the road here, and I think the opponents know about it because he got that one knock, and I think they saw on the kill feed, timed it with the shots fired, realizing who it was, and now you can see Andy very low on HP down here, and that nade straight onto the face of Jonathan. Oh, double nade. Rip. Andy is in... has in his face... He's in trouble. ...an entire Turkish <laughs> legion... Um, he, he's under a lot of pressure. He's trying to heal up, stay alive as long as he can. But they're at a three to one disadvantage. Um, Fiberi, though. He got a knock. They joined their team. Fiberi from the far western oh, side. Yeah. He's, he has done something. He has done something, <laughs> but I think it's a bit too late. They're at a huge um, disadvantage. Yeah, they're yeah. still three to one behind. Yeah, that's, this is not going to be easy, that's for sure. But he has made his way in. I mean, he's in the center of the circle. He does have, as you said, a, uh, a pretty pretty big uh, outnumbered situation for him going into the uh, the final few ones because 23 against 7, that would require a I mean, hero, hero plays to say that he's in all of it. Yeah, he's about to go down, though. Yeah, there we go. 
on the mini-map, I could see that as Fibri was firing off the... Uh, Vasago and Pat Pat Cutis mm -hmm. Pat Cutis Pacutis, I'm not sure, and started spinning around. They're, they're like, where, where's this fire coming from? Then they took him down relatively quickly. And, and, and talking about things that have happened relatively quickly, boom! That victory comes in 